This is gate CSE 2005 question. Finite state machine that is given to you. Okay, which takes the input as a binary number from the least significant bit. Okay, so this is important. You can notice from the least significant bit means the input is actually binary number and you are reading the binary number from least significant bit means from right to left you are reading the input. Okay, so this okay from least significant bit. So basically, if your input let's assume let's assume your input string is 0 1 okay 1 1 0 okay this is your input string then what you are doing you are reading you are reading this input string from least significant bit remember this is most significant bit this is a least significant bit so basically the input we are reading from right to left okay and this machine this finite state machine is given to you now first you check is this mille machine or more machine you can notice this is a mille machine because the output actually depends on what is your project state and what is the input that you are reading in this state q0 if you read 0 then the output will be 0 in state q0 if you read 1 then output will be 1 so you can notice actually this is a mille machine okay because in the mille machine you can notice that the output the output actually depends on okay what is the output the output is basically what is your present state and what is the symbol that you are reading and then you will produce the output okay then output will be produced okay so this is your mille machine now this is saying that what this mille machine is doing okay it is computing one's complement two's complement increment the number decrement the number okay so let us check it out now very simple actually you don't have to take any example here you can very easily see that this is a standard machine what this is doing okay you are reading the input from left to uh, from right to left remember the the input we are reading from right to left so if this is your input then what will be the output okay what we are doing so okay any number of zero we are basically leaving them as it is so we are reading the input from right to left now what we will do this zero zero we will keep them as it is okay and the first one okay the one comes then we also we also keep it as it is so you can notice these things we keep it as it is okay now what we are doing now zero we are converting into one and one we are converting into zero so now we are converting zero into one okay and one into zero so you can notice if this is your input then the output is basically this and this is two's complement in the two's complement this is what we do okay so if you have a binary number okay let let me let me take any binary number so if you have this binary number then in this binary number this is your input okay and what is the two's complement of this okay so the two's complement of this two's complement of this input w let's call it w so the two's complement of this what that will be very simple you go from right to left you go and what you do you basically till the first one okay till the first one you print as it is okay till the first one you print as it is you cannot this is the first one so till the first one you print as it is and after that you complement okay now you complement so this is the idea this is how you can pre, uh, you, this is how you can basically uh, determine the two's complement of a number so i can say the answer will be option b it computes two's complement of the input number remember if this is your input okay then one's complement will be what okay so actually one's complement of this input that is very simple every zero you make it one every one you make it zero so here actually one's complement will be actually this this will be the one's complement and this is actually two's complement so this output you can notice this is a two's complement okay so the answer will be option b okay and these all these are actually standard machines we have already created mille machine mure machine for option a how to create one's complement we have already seen how to create one's mille machine mure machine we have we have also seen incrementing the number decrementing the number okay so basically if you want to find out how to create mille machine mure machine for this option c how to create mille machine mure machine for option d basically for all these how to create mille machine how to create more machine if you want to find out then you can uh, find the link in the description okay that in the description of this video you will find the link okay thank you